What's up, squeegee slingers and what if I call wiggling wagglers? Oh. How are you doing this evening? Oh. 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 <laughs> That's oh. nothing to do with oh. me. Really is. <laughs> oh. 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 Hold on, hold on. Oh. That's my line. Get oh. your own line. Sorry. <laughs> Look, she put me in the cupboard, folks. That's my line. <laughs> I you do that line then. You've got you to put a it. Scottish accent on it. I just thought I did it better. Ah! <laughs> What's up squeegee slingers and water fed pole wiggling wagglers. Good evening, uh, or it could be good morning. It could be. Wherever they're watching from, could be any time of day. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll just log in here, if that's okay with Trad Girl. I wasn't really allowed to be on camera this evening, but I just had to, I burst my way out of the cupboard. <laughs> So. I, I just wanted to get a word in, that was all. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll let, we'll let you talk more to them this evening. <laughs> okay, so we'll tune in here. We're just going to bring up the comments here. We've got our tablets ready to go. So we can see your comments. And hopefully that's on quiet. There we are. I, Lovely. I don't have it. How do I get it? Oh dear, amateurs, amateurs. You go onto the Tradman YouTube channel, that one that you never ever watch. <laughs> Is it this one? Yes, and click on the live. There we go. See what I have to work with, ladies and gentlemen. See, really? There you are. I'm and happy like now. Always, I'm going to be trying to answer the questions that come up on the sides. But I'll, and I'll you know, try and talk yeah. to you, basically. Um, but we had a theme for tonight, didn't we? What, we what was our theme for tonight? Oh, before we start, we should, oh, yes. we should say. Um, we are recording from our house and we do oh. have children. They are in bed, but Somewhere. if they just come wandering in, <laughs> some yeah. little people and one of us has to disappear, we, we apologise in advance. We might have a four, well the two-year-old seems pretty tired, so the two-year-old should be okay, but the four-year-old, he might come in, so we'll see, we'll see. Okay. But, so um, yes. but I was just thinking, Sorry. just before we crack on, we should maybe let people know about the fundraiser, what's happened, because in future Ooh, videos, yes. obviously things in my appearance might change. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell the lovely folks at home a bit more about the charity we were doing and what's happened recently? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do that just quickly. Uh, so Tradman, as most of you know, was wearing a kilt for his window cleaning. Mm. Yes, snow, rain, wind. Everything else. A little bit of sunshine sometimes, Very this small. is Scotland. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he was wearing his kilt, but he's recently just gone back to... Trousers. trousers! With knee pads, Yay. because I'm getting old. <laughs> we actually, he actually managed to raise enough, thank you for all of your contributions. Really much appreciated. To get our friend Nettie, um, the wheel that she requires, mm. the special watch, the bag. Um, there was enough as well in the fund to build a ramp, um, which we've been trying to build up our doorsteps so Nettie could come in without the aid mm. of her husband on her yeah. new chair. So. We're in the process of trying to get that made as well, mm. which will be really If you want good. to find yeah. out more yeah. about this charity, it's actually, it'll be in the description after the video yeah. is gone live. You're watching yeah. this back and um, you've missed us. Where were you? <laughs> the uh, justgiving.com page is down in the description yeah. and you'll find out a bit more about the yeah. story, mm -hmm. about what I was yeah. doing, but it's and all done. And the page is staying open just until and mm. for another month because we have got some other people saying that they want to contribute. So we've left the page up for another month and then we're going to close the page down and just mm. say thank you for all your wonderful contributions. Indeed, thank you ever so much for all your contributions for and the charity. Watch out for the upcoming video of Nettie speeding around. Yes, her new I'm going to be doing <laughs> on her new wheels. Once our friend uh, has got this new wheelchair attachment, I'm going to be shooting a, a special video to show her using it so that you at home can see what your contributions have helped raise, so that'd be really nice. Okay, folks. Yeah. So, so anyway, back to window cleaning. Back to window cleaning. Right, so we thought we'd talk about tonight, pricing window cleaning jobs. Yeah. It's something about we actually wanted to talk about for a little while, haven't we? Yeah, it was, it was on our list of topics for a while, and then when it came up, and just recently, it kind of reminded us that we do need yeah. to... Oh yeah, we need to talk about that. Talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so which was really good, yeah. Indeed. So, any comments we just yet? I've got a few people online coming on. Uh, Josh says, I like your shirts. Oh yeah, they're pretty cool, aren't they? They are pretty cool. I like them. Yeah. Um, I don't price my company uh, does using square meters. Ooh, oh yeah. That's good. A lot of them, um, I guess, I don't know if it's Australia, I think they do it as well, but in America they sometimes go by the square feet. Yeah, you can around, cut down uh, that for uh, us. Buildings. 
So how do we do it, Tradman? What do we do? In the UK... Is a f- well, tell them what we do. What we do? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, it's actually a combination of two things, what I do for pricing. Mm-hmm. One is I take into account how many windows there are, obviously. Yes. Yeah, so can. I'll go to the customer's house and I'll make them aware that I'm there first. Mm-hmm. So I don't just go in and wander around the premises, whether it's residential or commercial, this applies to. Um, go and see the person in charge first mm-hmm. and let them know that you're on site, that mm-hmm. you're going to go and have a look around if that's okay. Unless they've previously given us permission to go yeah. while they're out. Precisely, so precisely. Because most of our stuff now is residential, we prefer residential mm-hmm. work. But if you're doing commercial, obviously go into the reception, check in and, mm-hmm. and then have a wander around after that. But yeah, mm-hmm. so that's what I do. I arrive at the job, I've usually got a high visibility mm-hmm. vest mm-hmm. on as well, just to make sure that I'm clearly seen kind of thing mm-hmm. and look a bit more professional turn up to the customer, just say, hello, I'm here to do the quotation for you kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And is it okay if I have a wander around? Mm -hmm. Usually I like to do the quotations myself. I don't really like the customer coming with me because sometimes maybe you've experienced this yourself, but they'll come with you and say, for instance, there's five windows or something like that, but it's all within the same space. They, They all say to you, oh, that's one window. But then you've got to try and explain while they're there, actually that's not one window, that's five. Because it's got the frame. Because it's got the frames each around each individual, individual. pin. Precisely. But Precisely. So it's actually much easier, more comfortable if you say to them, Okay, is it okay if I just come and see you when I'm finished? That's a nice way of putting it. Yeah. And then they know it's basically yeah. like you you stay put. <laughs> yeah. Or even not even ask them, just say, All right, yeah, I'll I'll just quickly whip around and I'll Knock on your door when I'm finished, yeah, do you? Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. That's a good way of making sure they don't follow you. Well, this is it. It's just a bit less <laughs> stressful for you as a window cleaner to take yeah. your time as well, not yeah. miss anything. Because mm-hmm. while you're doing the quotation, it's always good to get up close and personal to the windows that you can anyway and make sure there's no damage to glass that you might maybe you know pick up on. So say, for instance, there was a job I was quoting where I actually noticed a small stone chip and I made that customer aware while I was doing the quotation before I'd even put a squeegee to the window that I noticed some damage on the on the glass just to make them aware. That means that you know when you come to clean it, if they didn't know it was there, suddenly that's the only thing that's visible on their glass after you clean it. And they think, oh, was that the window cleaner? Even though it's like a bullet hole like that, which has <laughs> obviously been yeah. pinged up by a lawnmower or something, you know. Yeah. Um, it's good to make them aware of that. And, yeah, it and is. That. That's a good idea. So yeah, but so yeah, you go around, count the windows, and jot them down on a bit of paper or on your software. This is what you, we do. Yeah, well, this is what yeah. I do. Yeah, um, jot that down or put it on your software. How many windows that there are? But also, this comes with experience. But try and work out in your mind how long you think it's going to take to do as well. Mm-hmm. Um, because sometimes, yes, there might maybe only be twenty windows. But if they're really, really dirty and you think it's going to take a while to do, Mm -hmm. those 20 windows will take longer to do than 20 windows that are a bit cleaner or Mm -hmm. in better condition, obviously. So assess it as you go around. Think to yourself, would this take me half an hour, an hour, an hour and a half? And what I normally do is if I'm a little bit unsure how much to go for, I'll give the customer a ballpark price. So that way I'm not going to cut myself short if I'm doing the job and I've said, yeah. you know, it, it's forty pounds or something like that. Yeah, and, and then if it know, takes you like two, three hours. Yeah, then, yeah, exactly. Know. If it takes me a lot longer than I originally thought, then you know I haven't cut myself short. I've given myself a bit of a breather, a window, yeah. as it were, to work in between this lower price and this higher price. So, mm-hmm. say for instance, like I use that example of forty pounds. I might say to them, well, it will be somewhere between thirty and fifty, or something like that, roughly. Yeah. But I said, I'll say to them, if you know it takes me a bit less than what I think, we'll maybe bring the price down a bit. Mm-hmm. So I always try and be fair with my customers as well. I try mm-hmm. not to overcharge them. Yeah. But the same token, I want it to be fair for me. And it's yeah. you know I don't want to be turning up doing something yeah. for basically yeah. peanuts. <laughs> so we've got a comment. Okay. LJ's window cleaning world. Oh, it's Lewis. Hi, hey, Lewis. Uh, price per window, unless it has more than three panes of glass in the window. If that's the case, then the price is different for that window. Mm. Little bit of common sense at times. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Very true. Yes. Absolutely. That's what we do as well. Per mm. window. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So stand standard British window. Yeah. For us. 
Yeah. So this is it. But I mean, our culture is a bit different. It's like in the States, and I think Australia as well, they have like screens. Oh, yes. So they have to obviously charge for Ooh. the time it takes to take the screens out. Oh, really? Like, wow. Oh, my gosh. Then they've got to clean that the window. Yeah. And then they've got to put the screens back. So wow. if you're doing that, then you're going to have to factor that into your time yeah, as well. Yeah, window. You know? Because um, sometimes I've seen videos of people doing it, and it can take longer to get yeah. the screen out than cleaning the window. Oh, wow, you really? Know? So, gosh. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so get back to what we do. We've spoke to the customer, we've had a look around, say for instance we're just going to use that £40 figure, keep it in our minds. I'm going to walk back around to the customer, knock on the door, lady or gentleman comes to the door and says, okay, how did you get on? And I'll say to them, okay, if everything's accessible and everything's safe to do, I'll say, yep, I can go ahead and do that. If there's any windows of concern, then I'll let them know there and then as well that there's a window that's going to pop, you know, possibly cause an issue mm -hmm. um, yeah. or that maybe I just don't want to do. There might be a window that's maybe not safe to get to yeah. or very awkward to get to. Um, anything like that. that, this is the time to let that customer know yeah. these issues before you start. Um, so they're fully aware of the situation before you before you start. So they're then you kind of give them that price. Then you'll say, well, it's if something you think you know how much it's going to be, give them the price. But if you're more comfortable with a ballpark price, mm -hmm. just say to them, well, it might take me, you know, round about this kind of time or this kind of time. I'm not 100 percent sure yet because your windows are maybe quite bad condition, whatever. Just be honest with mm -hmm. them um, and say, but I'll give you a ballpark price and it'll be, be somewhere between here and there. Um, you know, and I'll leave yeah. that with you. Yeah, because you, know. you can always say this will definitely be the highest it will be. It won't be any more than that. Yeah. But you know, depending on how much time it takes us, it could be you know down to this price. So, I think, as far as I'm aware, most of our customers they they don't mind that. They kind of like that actually. Mm. You know, saying well, you know, we've got that's the highest, but ooh, we might actually get it for the low price. Well, this you know, is it's it. a little bit this is it. exciting for the minute. <laughs> yeah. But don't cut yourself right. short. That's the only no, thing yeah. you know. Because I think that's especially it. I found this. Well, we actually found this when we were new. Yeah, um, new to window cleaning. New to well, self-employed. Being self-employed, yeah. yeah. But we price um, things ourselves. Yes, yeah. yeah. But the temptation is to be a bit cheap when you first start because it's it's a real problem because you need the work usually. Yeah. Um, there's very few people that kind of start um, with it all already ready to go. So you've got all your equipment, you've got all your customers. Mm -hmm. There's very few people that start with all that yeah. in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you're starting with very little, you've got very few customers or maybe none, uh, the temptation is to go quite cheap. And we were really unaware mm. of how to price things yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Like as um, first time self-employed window yeah. cleaners, we yep. didn't know what was cheap, what was expensive, what we should be charging. It was only when experience came along and you realise how much work as a window clean you do. And we do a lot of the, we do all of the, the frames and the sills as well as the glass panes Indeed. as well. So and the doors. Yeah, and we do the doors, doors and... as well. Um, yep. So we needed to make sure that we were pricing fair for us as well as for the customers. So, Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, so that's why we want to talk about this topic tonight. We yeah. wanted to, to decide with who decides what is expensive and what is cheap, who mm. makes up those rules. Yeah. You know? Yeah. There is no rules about that, you know. Mm. You, you do get a lot of people saying, oh, that's far too expensive, that's far too cheap. But who decides that? You know, which window cleaner decided that this was the hourly mm. rate for window cleaning? And if you go above that, then, you know, oof, you're too expensive. Oh, and then you're ripping cheap. someone off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that was that was one of the mm. main reasons we wanted to do this, yeah. yeah. Um, but at the other end of the scale, you know, obviously you can't be saying thousand pound for a house because a little bungalow yeah, with five windows yeah, unless Why you're not? unless Why you're not? doing it with a gold squeegee <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you put a little gold and you're wearing a kilt <laughs> you know if you're wearing a kilt you get away with charging more because they want to see some legs <laughs> they want to see you got the ladder <laughs> yeah those old ladies will pay you loads of money <laughs> but it's true <laughs> is it yeah no no all right. i paid them to say that yeah did you okay <laughs> But yeah, indeed. Yeah, so leave in the comments, folks, um, what's your opinion when you go to price something? First of all, how do you feel when you do it? Do you feel you're trying to aim a bit higher or do you feel a little bit under pressure to aim a bit lower? Um, what do you feel is when you feel you're being too expensive or too cheap? How do you decide? When yeah, in yourself. In actually. yourself. Yeah. You know, if you're being fair to the customer, but also being fair to you. Yeah. Because I think yeah, that's because important. 
how much work as a window cleaner do you actually do? Mm. It's it's a physically demanding job. Um, yes. You know, even if you, if you're doing it trad or water fed, you mm. know, I I yeah. still feel like for me it's a physically demanding job. Yeah, yeah, but, but, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, and not just that, it's like how much time do you take to do each window? Yeah. Like, how much detail, you know, do True. you put in? Mm. How much scrubbing do you do the frames to get it just right? Yeah. You know, it's a it's a really it's not an easy job and mm -hmm. to master True. the techniques and to buy the equipment, you know, you need to make sure that you're putting all that in your pricing. You don't want to be short changing yourself. At the end of the day as well, you've got to go home and pay your bills. Indeed. Uh, just like the customer does as well and you know they they get a choice whether they take your price on or they go to the next window cleaner and ask them for a quote as well you know so mm. just make sure that you're being fair with I them. like this question oh can uh, I read it which one it's is it? Michael's the green emblem oh emblem. oh can we just say hello to everybody who's been saying hello to us as well yes hello, indeed Trad Girl's oh, going to try and keep yeah. up to speed and, with the comments uh, the Dane 824 hello Ooh. Copenhagen, wow. Copenhagen, hello. Hello. <laughs> what and and Ryan as well. What's up? What time is it in Copenhagen? Google. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, a question from Michael. Yes. Says, how do you respond when the customer tries to haggle? Do you ever reduce your price? Do you factor the possibility of haggling into your price? That is a very good. And that's why I like that. I like that. Question. I like Michael's question. Yeah. Michael, you're hired. I like you. Us personally. No. We don't haggle. <laughs> we give them the price and that's the price. But yeah, but there's a reason yeah, for that. There there's a reason for that. Yeah. I think back when I first started, I might have been a bit more inclined yeah. to haggle because I wasn't so sure of myself. Yeah. I wasn't sure kind of how good I was, the, the service I was providing. I wasn't confident, you know? Yeah. Whereas now I'm, I know what I'm worth, basically. Yeah. So. And I'm the opposite. People won't actually let me do anything. Speak to the customer yeah. when we're doing quotes because yeah. I'm like, oh yes, of I'll do it for I'll free. Do it. I'll, I'll do wash your car. I'll do your dishes as well. I'm terrible. I'm terrible She's too that. nice. <laughs> too nice. I just, I just love people, and you know, if, if an old lady comes to me and says, oh, good, I could only afford this, I'm like, yes, that's fine. We'll yeah, so just old, give me a sweet. An old time. lady who's perfectly fine, <laughs> who's got about a million pounds yeah. in the bank, comes out and goes, oh, dearie, could you do mine for free, please? <laughs> I've got such a sore hip. Yeah. And then Carla, oh yeah, yeah, no worries, I'll do that for free. And she goes away skipping, going ka -ching! I would. <laughs> and yeah. I'd be happy about it too. Yeah. So Pete doesn't let me do any pricing. No. But yeah, no, we don't. Well, uh, uh, Pete doesn't haggle. <laughs> Not anymore. I Not don't anymore. haggle, I just give in. Um, yeah. The way I look at it is that you as a professional, say for instance, you go into a coffee shop, right? Mm -hmm. And you buy a cake and you buy a coffee. Mm -hmm then do you ever hear usually of anybody standing at the till going, you know, say for instance, the coffee's £2.50 and the cake's £1.50, whatever it is. What coffee shop you are know, you going into? It's a good one. Oh, okay. It's a good one, you know. I know you like going to charity <laughs> shops where they give it to you, but, uh, but yeah, you go into a coffee shop, you've ordered it up, and then you think to yourself, I think I'm going to try and haggle with the, uh, yeah. with the coffee shop. Um, <laughs> excuse me, love, I know your coffee's £2.50, but would you take 50p? I did um, see the jar, it just came out of The there. last coffee <laughs> shop I was in was cheaper. Why are you so expensive? <laughs> the coffee shop's going to go, well, do you want it or do you not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know? and, and we also think that haggling causes a problem for us as well, that mm -hmm. if we give one person on the street who's haggled us a bit cheaper than their neighbour, who didn't haggle us, then then neighbours start talking, you know, we just feel like that might be a bit unfair. Yeah, we'll um, all be haggling. Yeah, and they probably will talk if they're neighbours, oh, yeah, so, <laughs> so we just like to keep it the same I like uh, well, the Dane's comment, the, the Dane 824, Ferrari doesn't lower their price because a customer can't afford to buy it. That is very true. They just say, well, If I ever the door. become a Ferrari sales person I will remember that. <laughs> no, Ferrari won't hire I'm you because like, you're yeah, like, take a Ferrari. 50% off, <laughs> sure, no problem. <laughs> Worst saleswoman ever. <laughs> um, we've got a, greetings from Estonia. Hello, how are you doing? How's Hi, the weather hello. with you? Thanks for the tuning in. The weather here has been crazy. Been nice we've had a, what's the name of the, yeah. the windstorm? Gareth has been causing us a lot of problems. Who names a storm Gareth? It's not the most intimidating name in the storm world. Gareth. Batten down the hatches, folks. Your cars are going to flip over. Your children will be flying <laughs> through the coming. air. Gareth's coming. 
Uh, it's just yeah. it's just not a great name for a storm, is it? It's well, it's not, I like the name. It's not, it's not a great name for a storm. storm. Yeah, it's really not. So Pete, this is one of the other reasons why we were saying earlier Pete's not wearing his kilt anymore is because oh, yeah. Storm Gareth would have just been going a bit havoc with Gareth his would have been all up in my kilt. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist. It had to be done. Yeah. The storm, Gareth. That's the storm. Did we talk about the storm here? Mm. Yeah. So hopefully the weather's better where you are. Get We've some got work done. hello mm. from Maryland Eastern Shore. Question: really? Can mm. you place some sponge ring around the handle to catch water? Ooh, what's that for? A sponge ring around the handle. Is that Fair for enough. a squeegee? Is that what you're talking about there? Like, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or is it a pole? What I think pole? this usually happens if it's quite a steep angle on oh. the squeegee, the water ends up running down onto your hand. Oh, okay. But I don't really get that problem that much because I've actually modified my squeegees to all be around about 10 degrees. So it's very, very simple. I might do a video on it, but it's so simple I'm not sure if it's worth a video. <laughs> but you literally okay. just... Well, maybe, I don't know, but, but I you think just that's bend a it in a vice. I'm not very experienced with water fed pole because I haven't really used them that much, but would mm. that be something, would that be good for a water fed pole having a bit of a sponge to catch leaking mm. water? Not really. It would eventually just soak I through tried. the sponge and I just tried. come down anyway. At least I got the name right. Yeah. Water fed pole. <laughs> yeah. No, it's. Uh, with the squeegee, unfortunately, if the angle of the squeegee is quite a steep angle, that and it's, your hand is quite close to the glass, uh, that so is going to be happens. the hazard of using that squeegee. Yeah. If you're using something like what I'm doing, which is 10 degrees, your squeegee's at that angle, so your hand's further away from the glass and the water doesn't tend uh, to run down your hand. There we go. If so. that answered your question, Wardell, Benno, come back to the right. Terrible. <laughs> Please let us know if you'd like a video We're, on Pete's. 10 degree angle thing. I could do a video on right? it. But yeah. if not, if that's answered your question, that's fine. Yeah. But it's, it's a good idea. Are you Scottish? I am. She's not. Mind you, if Scotland become separate from England, you'll have to go back home. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Would you stay here? <laughs> Probably not. You can take the kids with you. I'll get a good night's sleep. <laughs> Hold on a minute. We never discussed that. It was just me going home and not oh, the kids with me. <laughs> great. Oh, well, well, I get that. Anything for a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But yes, I am Scottish for my sins. So there we are. Victor says, What's good, Peter? It's Victor from SoCal. Oh, yes. Oh, How are you doing? Oh, He's messaged me on Instagram. How are you doing, my man? Hopefully you're doing all right. <laughs> Where's SoCal? Never heard of that place. SoCal. SoCal. There's no, there's no way that is. Oh. oh. Love Scottish people. <laughs> Get in. Do you like the English too? Mind you, I, I'm pretty much, I would say I'm pretty much almost Scottish. I, I've probably been in Scotland longer than I lived in England now. So. Don't make me get you to do your Scottish accent. I don't want to hear It's that. really bad. It's really bad. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, yes, we're getting back to topic. We're talking yes. about pricing window pricing. cleaning jobs. We were talking about haggling, whether you should do it. Let us know in the comments, folks, if you're watching this live right now or if you're watching this after it's been live, what you think. Would, yeah. you, would you haggle? If the customer would says you to you, gives you a little tear in the eye and just said, I, I can't afford a loaf of bread. Or just you know, puts their foot down, right. Or I'll just, take it if yeah. you do it for this price. Indeed, mm -hmm. indeed. Would you, would you do it? Would you do it? Mm -hmm. I would. Yeah, we would be bust. We would be. This live chat would be from inside a cardboard box <laughs> on the street. Probably. So, yeah. the Dane says, let's see a video with Trad Girl using a water fed pole. That would be difficult. Yeah, it, that you you wouldn't want to see that. <laughs> no. You'd have to avert your eyes because I'd be so bad at it. It'd probably fall off and hit someone's car. You did have a go, remember? I about did. There is a year. video of me. I think it's using on, it the once that was the first time I've ever used if it. If you check the playlist so. on Window Cleaning Resource, it's one of the videos in there. There's, yeah, there's one me. of you using the water fed pole. Yeah, and um, yeah, it it wasn't good, and it actually froze <laughs> as well. It was very cool. So half of the video is trying to unfreeze yeah. the water fed pole so I could use it. So pretty much, yeah. yeah. So no, the thing is, we're Don't ask we're that, mainly sorry. well, we are actually yeah, one hundred percent traditional. We were water fed pole for a little while. We mixed up a bit traditional and water fed but just personally I prefer traditional um, much more enjoyment for me and I like the instantaneous results of traditional that work, is true. So. Ah, SoCal is Southern California. Ah, it's, it's, ah it's like the lingo, yeah from SoCal. So from so you don't know that we don't know the lingo. No, we don't know the lingo. Sorry. I'm a little bit jealous though, Southern California sounds very warm. It's, yeah, probably compared to here, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. They won't have Gareth. 
blowing Class winds. Girls. Hello from the Bahamas, Ooh. you lucky bandit. Oh. <laughs> Just Rub stop telling us Just where you're from send, unless you're from cold places. Send us a picture now of you in the sunbed, like 35 <laughs> degrees, having a beer. 50 degrees. Yeah. Yes. Rub it in. Yeah. Lexi's right. They will even haggle for 50 pigs. We yeah. even, we put our prices up when we first started window cleaning. Mm. Um, we we were what people would call, you know, the, the cheaper end of a window cleaner. And um, a, about a year into it, mm -hmm. a year into it, Pete put his prices up. And some of them were even up by 50p and a couple of customers cancelled because yeah. of that. <laughs> so, yeah, you're right. People will. It's quite funny. We'll haggle up a 50p. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just of the mindset now. Um, I know it's different in the United States and I know in Australia and I think a few places in Europe as well that it's like reoccurring business. They have to keep advertising for it all the time. Whereas in the UK, we have a set round that we go around. So it's usually monthly jobs or second monthly jobs. So once our round's full, we don't really need to advertise so much. So we're quite fortunate here yeah. um, that we don't need to do that. So. You know, it's swings and roundabouts, you know. Yeah, that's it. Got some comments flying in, that's great. Yeah. Anita says, where I live, there's no way that I could get what I should be getting. All oh, right. That's okay. What she said. Where, where about if, is she from? If I would say that, if I would say what I should be getting, they would run me out of the building. So where, where is that, Anita? Where, where are you I from? To do that? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. When do you think one should get a water? California, or? the UK, Brighton. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> That's where we go. go there for our holidays. If you want a little bit of sunshine, go to Brighton. Pascal's asking when do you think somebody should get a water-fed pool? So That's a good question. It's well, there was another comment about somebody falling off a ladder. I think it's Lexi saying he fell okay. off a ladder, so that's when he well, got a water-fed So that it? is, yeah. And I, I don't know, maybe if you start not enjoying Trad yeah, if you don't enjoy trad, then, if, yeah. if you don't enjoy it, then why would you continue doing Indeed. it? Mix Indeed. it up with a bit of water, I guess. Yeah. yeah. What well, yeah. of anything that's quite high? Yeah, high, and also if you physically can't do Precisely. trad, yeah. like if the windows are not accessible, leaded windows, you you personally you know can't use the squeegees, then what fed would water be best? Fed yeah. Pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things that um, it, it's a big battle debate this whole water fed bowl and, and traditional thing yeah i know you don't follow it on <laughs> yeah on facebook yeah it's a big thing trust me i lose the bit there's, there's people that have died in these <laughs> arguments oh yes the oh yes killed with a squeegee oh yes there was there was a big army of water fed poles on one side and squeegees on the other and they ran together it's like a lord of the rings scene with squeegees and water was this your poles. dream last night it was a dream and now we've won <laughs> <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> But no, no, in all seriousness. Did it have hobbits in it? It did have hobbits in it. You were one of them. Oh. But, <laughs> but <laughs> all five foot two of you. But anyway, so. And a half. Well, should you get a water fed pole? I would say assess your business and decide for yourself. If you've got high yeah. stuff, then yes. If you've got awkward windows, yes. If you've got leaded windows, yeah. yes. If you're doing uh, Felix. And you don't want to use a squeegee on if the floor going If you've kind of got a bad sense of balance and you keep falling off the ladders, definitely get a water fed pole. If you don't want to go up ladders because you're scared of heights. Or, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's you. I tried to get her to do one window going up a ladder. That was the wrong one. Tell, me one what you, tell one her up. what you said. I wasn't allowed to come back down the ladder until I finished the window. <laughs> I'm a good boss. It's, it's yeah. so mean. Slightly mean. I said, no, no, she was coming back down the ladder. I said, no, 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 no. You can come back down when that window's clean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It was at least 50 foot in the air. I think she put something extra on my dinner that night. It wasn't very pleasant. I probably deserved it. Sorry. Actually, you got dinner. <laughs> and I got dinner. Yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. Oh, okay. What's Victor saying? So, H. Two zero window cleaning lessons saying that water fed poles as um, not allowed to use ladders on commercial due to hazards. Yes. So that yeah. is another very good reason yeah. why you could go to water fed poles is for that reason mm -hmm. as well. Because all um, commercial places don't doing, like ladders. Yeah, health safety. And if you're, if it's too dangerous to use ladders, like sometimes, like at the moment we've got Storm Gareth. Yes, intimidating. Gareth sucks at the moment. Storm Gareth is uh, causing a bit of havoc. Um, he's very windy. 
Um, <laughs> Gareth's windy. There's lots of uh, jokes <laughs> yeah, in here tonight, folks. Yeah, we about Gareth. Yeah. Gareth's very windy. Is so, he? obviously, with ladders and stuff, it's a bit dangerous to yeah. use in that in the wind. Um, and Pete uses um, traditional on a pole, so he's been getting a wee bit of... Even that's tricky. Yeah. That's tricky, because so. not only have you got the soap flying everywhere, but the yeah. actual pole, controlling the pole yeah. in the wind is hard. But anyway, we're, we're kind of going off tangents a little bit. Yes, We need sorry. to get back we to pricing things. <laughs> So let us know in the comments as well, folks, how you price things, if it's by the pain or by the hour kind of thing. Let us know. That'd be really interesting to know how different people do it. Because I do think we can learn from each other. There's not a set rule or a set way. I think we can always learn things from each other. So it's always good to give our opinions. Yeah. Um, sorry, did you have a comment there? Uh, I was just catching up on the comments. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's when is the next so... trad show in your part of the world? Oh, uh, that's is that not the one in September that you're going to? Uh, there is a show. It's not just for trad. That's just it, everything. Oh, is it like it's, a window cleaning? Uh, yes, oh, it's it a window clean, cleaning show. Is it a window cleaning? Or is it th a cleaning? Well, I've never actually been to the one in Stonelea before. No. So I've me been meaning to go for the last two years. But the first year I wanted to go to the show, I got really ill, and the second year we couldn't manage for some reason. So this year yeah. I'm determined I'm going to get yes. there. We're getting um, Tradman to the window cleaning. I'm going to the show. So it's in September and it's yes. in a place called Stoneleaf, Stone which is near Coventry yes. in England. Indeed. So it's in the middle of England. So yes. I think my geography's. Yeah, it's it's so like Birmingham and then a little bit below okay. that. Yeah, so yeah. Um, it's a long drive. If if you're there and you see Tradman, go up and say hello. I'll, to I'll be the really tired one who's sleeping in the back of the Tradmobile. Oh. <laughs> Hey, you probably sleep better, you won't have any kids with you, so it's fine. That's true, I might not come back. I'll be sleeping in the van going, this is much better. <laughs> but yeah. If you see the treadmobile and it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, just go and knock on it. And wake him up and ask him loads of questions about many things. He'll love that. Probably. He's really up for that. Probably. Yeah. yeah. And I gave him a poker. Yeah. Whiskey, bring whiskey. If you're coming to my van, bring whiskey. <laughs> Uh, Victor Extra says, I charge by the size of the house, small, mm -hmm. medium or large, the occasional extra large. Yeah, that, that's a very good, good way, way of doing it as well. That, that's different mm -hmm. from the way that we do, we were talking about it earlier, if you've just tuned in, that mm -hmm. we do it by window, standard window, we have a set price for that one window. And a window, we would say, is it's a piece of glass with its own frame all the way around it. So if you've got one hole in the wall uh, with a frame, but mm -hmm. then you've got loads of little bits of glass and um, we don't we charge little bits of prices per yeah, basically, or yeah. one i'll just like look at that and just say well, how long do i think price. that would take me to do because yeah. there's maybe five panes yeah. within that one space in the wall to do yeah. um here in the uk i don't know why we decided it was a good idea but say for instance you come to this one section of the building and it's one hole in the wall so it should just be one window but they've split it into one small little opener a medium window under that, then a big pane, and then a small opener, and then a little medium one. So you've just got what one, two, three, four, five windows within one yeah. space, and they're all different sizes. Yeah. And the customer thinks you're going to charge for one window, but it's five windows, and they're all different shapes and sizes. So, you know, I look at that and I say, okay, each window, you know, I could charge maybe a pound for that one, two pound for the big one, fifty p each for the small little ones. Mm -hmm. But then I'll also say, well, you know, depending on the window type, how long do I think it'll take me to do as well? Yeah. So I would say have a figure in your head as well yeah. what you want to charge per hour. Like have an hourly rate in mind as well. Mm. So you're trying to make a certain much per hour because yeah. then you know yeah. at the end of the day you're coming home with a certain figure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you can also, that's a good way that we, we do this as well because then mm. Tradman can map his uh, jobs out to make that figure yep. um, in a day as well. So that's a really good indeed, way to indeed. do But I think the most important thing, no matter how you price, is that you just keep it the same really mm. for all of your jobs and yeah. then you won't get, you won't be trying to remember what you charge for that job on the same street that you, you know, when you're yes. quoting it and stuff like yeah. that. You know, if you know that, um, if you come across the same house, you know how much it's going to be because you've already seen a similar house and mm. you charge the same so yeah, yeah. I think that's, a, that's indeed a, yeah. and I think I think we want to talk about as well which we kind of touched on but we went off on a bit of a tangent um, was how we work out whether we're you know if we're being expensive like say the customer says mm. the previous window cleaner was x price yeah. kind of thing 
and how we respond to that. Yeah. So I'd like to hear your thoughts as well on this. If you get told by your potential customer that the previous window cleaner was X price, how do you respond? Yeah, how would you respond to that? Um, we, get, we get this mm. quite a lot. Um, yeah, and we were saying earlier as well, who decides who's expensive and who's cheap? Mm. You know, who, who decides that? Does the customer decide that? Oh, that's a bit pricey for a window cleaning service. Well, do they actually know what you do? You know, you don't just go to the window and give it a rub down with a cloth and then charge them for that. You know, they mm. don't actually know what you're doing, how much True. work goes into window cleaning. It's quite a it, it's quite a tough job sometimes, and, and it, in the elements as well, you know. Yeah. Who, who else would want to do That's true. What do a job like that? So mm. I think that you should charge what you feel, you know, you're doing. Mm -hmm. yep. At the end of the day, there's a lot more um, professions out there that get paid a lot more and do a le less work. So, yeah, yeah. That's and you've true. still got your bills to pay. You know, this is it. Well, the thing, the tax man doesn't wait. <laughs> that's very, very true. But the way I get around it, this is, you know, this is the way I do it. If somebody says to me, if I gave them a quote and they say to me, mm. the previous window cleaner I had was this price, why are you this price? I'll then ask them, I won't, you know, answer the question, I'll ask them back a question. I'll say, well, okay, but what did that previous window cleaner do for you? Do you know, did they do the frames, the panes, the sills? How long did they take? How long did they actually spend doing a quality job on your house? I'll ask them things like this yeah. to make them think, why, oh. Why are you replacing yeah. this window cleaner if they were? But sometimes I already price. know the answer because I've looked at the windows and I know they haven't done the frames. So yeah. I know that's why they were cheap. So I'm already, I'm getting them to answer it for themselves. Yeah. But then if they don't come to that conclusion, they, they just go, oh, well, I don't know what he did. I'll just say, well, if I can just draw your attention to your own windows, and they'll look at it, and I'll say, can you see that your frames are pretty dirty? And they'll say, oh, yeah, I suppose. And I was like, well, in our service, what's included in the price is getting those frames clean for you as well. Because quite often what happens, I find, if somebody's been quite cheap, is that they've been missing things. It's the yeah. frames haven't been done, the doors don't get wiped, the sills don't get wiped, something usually why they're so cheap. So by doing a quality job, you can charge more, and if someone challenges you on it, be polite and professional, but then just draw their attention to what you can do, what you can provide for them, that perhaps their previous window cleaner wasn't doing. Yeah. You know? And there's um, some really nice comments here as well. Okay, great. And lots of responses. So the Dane824 says, I respond, where is he? Maybe out of business for being so cheap. That is very true. We actually have that a lot in this area. Yeah. We have, um, you know, uh, so young lads still living at home and they come in and they charge like literally you, you cannot live on the amount of money or they'd have to do so many houses to get a fair wage mm. um, and they, it doesn't last very long because they realise how much work it actually is when they take it on and how much they, mm. they're just not charging they enough. disappear so, in the winter yeah, as so well they, yeah. yeah and they don't do it in the winter so yeah it's very true and also um, people need to understand that you can fall off the ladders yeah and the price of petrol tax time that's exactly it, you know, mm -hmm. the customer doesn't see that we have to purchase our equipment, we mm -hmm. have to pay for the fuel, yep. you know, the, the amount of hours and time spent to get into their house. Well, yeah, well, this is the thing, we're actually physically driving to them. Yeah. If they're the usually getting a service, like even if you go to the mechanics, true, yeah. usually you have to take your car to the mechanic, yeah. and he still charges you a fortune. And then the taxman obviously takes the yeah. percentage. And so, yeah. You know, the thing is, you don't want to have to get into an argument with them and try no, to defend you would, you yourself. You never get into an argument with a customer. Just, At the end uh, of the day, they can take your price or they can ask another window cleaner. It's precisely. their choice. Yeah. And that is the that is the thing. You can charge what you feel, uh, you know, you should be charging and they don't have to take it. If mm. they feel in their mind that you're too expensive, they can go to another window cleaner who's they feel might be, uh, you know, more affordable for them, and that's fine, isn't it? And we hold no grudges for that. Um, yeah, so that's fine. Good. And there's uh, lots of the comments yeah, that they do want them. you to do for peanuts, most of the public. And I think that there's a really, I don't know about other places in the country, but I feel like here in the UK, there's a misconception about window cleaners, like that they because you're a window cleaner, they feel like you you don't do enough to earn enough yeah, money. They, that they, makes they sense. It's like a lower paid job. Yeah. But it shouldn't be like that because it is a hard 
working job and mm -hmm. you still have to do like what everyone else does and pay mm -hmm. bills and buy equipment just like a builder would or a plumber would mm. you know they they they're higher paid trades so why should window cleaner be a lower paid trade mm. indeed yeah but it's just it's just one of those kind of things i mean some people will actually be quite nice and say well i don't think you're charging enough i've had that before as well i've given a quotation and somebody says to me are you sure that's quite a good price and then the next quote you go and do the person goes oh and shuts the door and goes that's too dear so yeah. different people, are, you can have that yeah. on the same street, like next door neighbours, one can say you're expensive, one can say you're cheap. It's just, you know, their interpretation of what they think they should get. Yeah, that's you know. it. And there's a lot of comments about um, customers only being loyal to the price, and that's very true. Yeah. If, if you do, I feel like if you do charge a, a lower price than a lot of under, other window cleaners in the area, and they only go for you for that low price, and if another window cleaner comes on who's yeah. even less, then they're probably going to move. Exactly. But if they accept your higher price because they know you do a good job and they become loyal customers because they like, you know, mm -hmm. the outcome of their Indeed. cleans, then they're probably going to stay with you. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I mean, it's. I mean, that's what I've stuck to for the last couple of years was not haggling and not lowering my prices, sticking to. Not an extreme high price, but you know, we're definitely, I would say in this area, one of the more expensive window cleaners. Yeah. But then, you know, even those that sort of um and a when they first hire us, when they see the result, they're like, oh, well, that's fine, that's great, yeah, yeah you, you can, can come see, back. <laughs> see why we charge what we do. Yeah. And, you know, we would never unfairly charge a mm, customer. We indeed. would never go to a house and say, oh, this is a big house, let's see if we can get this much money out of them. We always yeah. price all of our jobs. Yep. by the same method same method yeah yep. so no matter if it's a big house or a really small little bungalow house mm -hmm. we always price by the same method and then we feel like that's a fair way of doing it yeah so and we stick to that no matter what unless it's me who um you know says yes you can have it for free because you can't walk or anything like that that's Pete, Pete yeah. sticks to his guns and I doesn't do. let me price anything Yes, absolutely. Uh, I was also thinking, it just kind of sprung into my mind, and something connected to pricing was having a minimum price. Yes, there was somebody that just said, uh, Dave Monk Monk Cleaning Services said um, that you should have a minimum price as well. well there we go. Depending on well the done, size Dave. Of the Thinking the same lines. Yeah. And yeah. um, Pete does have a minimum price. Yeah, um, it's a bit lower than Dave's. Mine's actually 10. Dave's is 12, depending on yeah. the size of the property. But I mean, yeah. Yeah, whatever, as long as but you've got a, a minimum. Saying that, uh, if you went to a tiny little bungalow where it was like, you know, a, a little old person and she literally only had two windows, even though Pete's minimum price is £10, he probably wouldn't take on the job and just ask me pound. and I would do it <laughs> for like two or something. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so Pete would only ever do a job where the minimum price could actually be £10. He would never do take on a job where he feels like actually by our method of pricing it should only be five pounds he just wouldn't do that job he would just give it to me who does like little yeah you know, currently has a, um, quite a small little round you do at the end yeah of the month i do my I'm, own little window when i'm window. finished my work you i do all do of the little all the little jobs that pete all the ones i don't just want. want to get out of bed <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i'm not getting out of my bed for that price <laughs> so but. yeah so even though we do have a minimum price we'd still never and um, overcharge if that makes sense like mm. it, by our by our own pricing methods so yeah yeah um let's see hi from ireland enjoying the chat regards hello from ireland lovely uh, it takes time to educate customers myself with the right answers and how to ask customers the right questions to get them to see what we do it's very true it's very true uh, Clayton says, hi guys, this week has been an absolute nightmare with the wind. Yeah, oh, same here. Gareth, he's a nightmare. Storm Gareth is yeah, positive habits. Gareth. <laughs> I tend Gareth. to charge £10 a house and 15 with a conservatory. No, so you've got a formula there, yeah. uh, Clayton. That's, That's really good. good. Yeah. Um, That's good formula. Victor says, I'd like to say oh, to the both of you, thank you for all you do for the community. Oh. Victor's always really nice. I don't do anything. You can come back, Victor. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> you can all come back. We need, we need more nice people. Just for the fact you actually tuned in and watching us. That's true. Yapping about yeah. know, random stuff. And why aren't you down the you can pub? All come back. <laughs> it's Friday night. Why are you not down the pub? Why are you watching me? <laughs> we wouldn't be down the pub either. No, sm I'd, smelly I'd old men in the pub. <laughs> but, uh, hello, everybody that's saying hello. 
Oh, um, thank you. Nice t-shirts. Yes. These were actually sent to us as a gift. It was a surprise in the post, so we were so thankful. Yeah, they were really nice. Thank you. Uh, Fernando says, hello, Trad family. Yay! Hello! hello. <laughs> Just reading the catching up on the comments. So, yep. um, when we start the conversation, if you've been here from the beginning, we were talking about quoting. Uh, how do you quote as well? Mm. So we wanted to get that in there, that we, we started a new quoting method as well, and we wanted to know what you thought about this. So when we're giving the prices, so Chadman actually only talked about going to the customer and looking at the house, but actually, how long ago was it now? About a year ago. What, what was it for? The, the How we quote online. Oh, the online quotations, yeah. yes. So yes. it was about a year ago we started actually quoting online. So when we get a message through email mm -hmm. or Facebook or something like that, we say, um, if you want to, just take a picture of every side of your house. Send us the pictures and we'll give you the quote online. We'll look at the house for the mm -hmm. pictures and do it that way. So we wanted to get your thoughts on that. Like, how do you feel about that? Because actually we thought we weren't sure about it. We were thinking, would the customer actually go out and want to take pictures of the house? But actually, it's taken off quite well. And it does yeah, mean that everyone has smartphones yeah, now Yeah, everyone's well, got smartphones so. now as well. Um, and Google Excuse Images me. and things like that. Mm -hmm. But we, it's... But the good thing about it is that we are not driving now to all these different areas because peak covers quite a big area in yeah. um, Aberdeenshire um, and using fuel to go out to do a quote. Mm. So, True. And it's we're saving time as well, time mm -hmm. and fuel. And it's actually working out really well. Yeah. And yeah. If, if, we, if they really don't want to take a picture of their house, then we'll happily go. Yeah, give them the option. I still say yeah. I can come in and see your house or if it's a commercial yeah. job. Um, if you like, but you know, give them the option that they can send yeah. images. And it's easier. Yeah, it, um, it's definitely easier for us. As you know, if you've it. got, and even if you don't have a website, you can set up a Facebook page for yeah, free. Yeah, that's all we do. Um, Facebook page so just, and email as well. An email, yeah. yeah, and it's nice and easy. You can get quotes, yeah. and I found Facebook's really helpful. Yes, yeah, really you can helpful. share your business page on free local pages yeah. and get business on that and do quotations mm -hmm. through that. So, so what do you think about the idea? Mm. Do you think that's something that maybe... Yeah. It's definitely working for us for the last year. Yeah, indeed. Actually, what, would you say 90% of our quotes are... Yeah, I would say that. Or would say a, Facebook a and... good more than half. Oh, yeah. Just to be yeah. safe, I'm not telling you any lies. A good more no, than no, half No, no, you're, you're spot on. Most of it about. comes through um, yeah. Facebook all of the time. So a lot of people, if they're on their phone and they're, they're doing whatever, and then I think, oh, I need my windows cleaned. And then they contact the window cleaner through Facebook or whatever. Um, and then they've, if they've got, you know, pictures of their home, I don't know why they would have pictures of each side of their house on their phone, but if they do, they can upload it. If not, normally what they'll say to me is, well, I'll take pictures when I get home or when I'm at home, whatever, yeah. and then send it to you, yes. and then I'll do the quote. But so. there's a good point here oh, yeah. from um, uh, the Dane824. Uh, I really need to know your name, sorry. Yes, <laughs> let, let us know your names as well, yeah. folks. <laughs> uh, he said he's got a lot of older customers, so right. probably not one to work yeah. Why are you not? saying that? The lady that in <laughs> introduced me to Apple Pay back in the day, when this was starting to become a thing, when you can pay with your phone, I wasn't using it at the time. I was old-fashioned using money. This like 90-year-old customer comes to the door and says, oh, can I pay with my phone? Yeah. <laughs> and you pay with like, what? You can pay with your phone? Yeah, it was Teach a total, me these wise total things. <laughs> role reversal. The old lady was like, oh yeah, all you do is you download the app and you set up your card details and you can use it as a contactless <laughs> payment. I'm like, mind blown. <laughs> yeah, so, so but the thing the thing is what we're saying is did is if they're emailing you or message you on Facebook, then yeah. they're probably, you know, a little bit into technology, so they wouldn't mind maybe going outside and snapping a few pictures yeah. of their house. Yeah. But yeah, if they're phoning you on the phone and calling you DV, maybe not offer that service to them, but uh, yeah. I've yeah. So. Um, got a comment here I wanted to um, make a point on. Uh, Fernando says, I've heard guys using Google Maps, but picture might be better. The reason I was going to bring this up was because I used to work for a large company who were using Google Images and there was sometimes problems with it because sometimes one, the pictures weren't up to date. Yeah, they could have had an extension if inserted. Well, that was the thing as well. A lot of the time it's street view. So sometimes a house from the front doesn't look overly big. Yeah. 
and you get around the back and they've added on all bits and there's hard to get to windows and it can be a nightmare. So this company was definitely underpricing jobs a lot oh, of the time yes. by, use, oh, by yes. using Google Images. So oh, yeah, we, we don't really use Google don't Images. Don't use Google Images. No, but sometimes the customer might use one or two if they can't be bothered going outside. But you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely better get them to... And the way I, I try and kind of lead them by the hand in the message, I'll say to them, to this potential customer, uh, can you take a single picture, a clear picture, of each side of the building? Because sometimes when I first started, I says, oh, can you just take a picture of your house? People would send me one or two pictures and they weren't very clear and it wasn't of every side. It probably was of the sides that had less windows, <laughs> you know. And I get there and go, whoa, this is a lot bigger than I thought. So now I emphasize the point to them, mm -hmm. nice and clear, one picture of each side of the building. Yeah. Um, so I can give you an accurate quote. And yeah. then just say to them, you know, based of, when I give them the quote, I'll say, based upon the pictures received, your quote yeah. is this. So then if you go and it doesn't look anything like the pictures you received. Yeah, they've taken a picture of their neighbor's know. house, which is much smaller. <laughs> <laughs> look, a bungalow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, uh, Trevor. Oh, yeah, the, the last question, um, uh, Trevor's boy from Australia. Mm. We actually don't have fixed, sec fixed security screens. At oh, yeah, we don't have them. We, we actually don't have them at all in the UK. It's not actually... We're very lucky here. Yeah, we are very lucky. Um, our windows are literally just a frame and glass. There's nothing in front of them. No. Apart just, from the odd bush. Yeah, bushes and, and lots of trees barbecues and, and yeah. old people <laughs> sitting on benches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we're very fortunate. So we can't answer that question for you, but I'm sure that somebody... Yes, if you uh, if you can help out Trevor in the comments, that'd be great, folks. Um, yeah, security yeah, screens, you could help them out, let them know what you yeah. do to get them removed. Is that the nice same as easy. the ones in America, the ones that they take? They call them storms or something. Storm screens? Yeah, yeah. So, so whether they're the same, I don't know. But yeah, so help Trevor out, guys. And maybe we should have some storm screens at the moment. <laughs> Gareth. Gareth. He's going to be just a running Storm theme Gareth. in this live chat of Gareth. <laughs> Evil Gareth. Evil Storm Gareth. UK uh, are too honest, obviously. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Our break-ins are probably higher because we, we just make it easy for criminals because <laughs> we can't be bothered getting up and doing anything yeah. about it. So let yourself in, remember, and shut the window on your way out. But, um, but yeah. So, yeah, we just kind of... I'm trying to think, was there, was there anything else about pricing? We've kind of talked about yeah. how to price it, speaking to the customer, walking around, take your time, really examine the glass. If you're unsure of what price to give them, give them a ballpark price. Yeah. If you are 100% sure how long it's going to take, yeah. give them an exact yeah. figure. Try and be the same with your pricing method for every house. All so the time. If yeah. it's a bigger house, a small house, you know you, try, you, you, know you go by the same method and it's consistent. Yeah. 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 And... Uh, uh, Victor was also saying about do how do you price hard water states and deposits? Mm. So do we get? I don't think we I, get hard water states. I do do yeah I do do them. Yeah, um, yeah. You do, you like do. cement and paint you get mainly here. I've got some brilliant chemicals for it in the van. It's great. <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description below to the hard water stain removal that I use. It's really good. But it's quite powerful. So be careful what you do with it. Um, so yeah, what I do with that is I'll charge that completely differently to a normal window clean. Yeah. I'll say to the customer, look, this is not a standard thing. This could take quite a while to do, yeah. um, depending on how long it's, obviously hard water's been there, how bad um, the affected area is. I'll just say to them, look, when it comes to this kind of thing, it's gonna be an hourly rate, because mm -hmm. don't know how long it's gonna take. Mm -hmm. So similarly, like with a mechanic, will tell you, well, this is what it is for parts, this is what it is for our labor per hour, not be this much. Yeah. So similarly for me, if I have to go and buy chemicals, for that job, mm -hmm. I'll charge the customer a fraction of that, because obviously if I don't use it all, mm -hmm. then I just charge them for what I've used. But if I do use all the chemicals, then I add that into the bill, and they'll also charge by the hour. So I'll, again, I'll give them a rough idea, because I've done it before a few times, mm -hmm. how long I think it's going to take, but I will make them aware that it could take longer. Yeah. Because the last thing you want is for them to turn around and go, <gasps> how much? When they get their bill, you don't want that, do you? That's why it's good to have a ballpark as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. This is the higher price and this is the... Yes. So that's going to yeah. be anywhere now. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, Power Crew, best squeegee for pole work. Uh, I, I'm assuming that's meant to say pole work, because it's pole or but pole work. Yeah. Um, Pete's got loads of videos on squeegees on poles, haven't you? Yes, So indeed. please check out his videos and, you know, but 
I think the main answer to that that we would say is. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm gonna wait for you to say it. Oh, she's gonna I'm get. I'm gonna it wrong. call it the accelerator. Hey. Yes. There we go. <laughs> it was between that and the liquidator. I was gonna mix. You know, it. <laughs> Mormon will send a hitman if you don't get that right. They're from Belgium, so you know. But yeah, um, I would re personally I would recommend the Mormon Accelerator and the these are the reasons why. Number one, it's a swivel or fixed tool. There's no other tool that can do what I'm describing right now. It can change the angles. So you can change between 10 degrees, 25 degrees and 40 degrees at the push of a button. Mm -hmm. So that's really handy depending on the type of frames you're working on. But watch the video because we really shouldn't be talking about this right now. It's, he asked the question and I'm answering <laughs> yes. the man's question. We were, we've, We've got like four minutes left, so... All right, okay, okay. Yeah. So Accelerator. Can, can I just go off? Of course you can. Right, uh, right. so H2O said a good... Um, he said for one-off window cleaning, he charges a minimum of £35, mm -hmm. as he finds it takes longer to get the glass frame sealed and doors up to standard. Yes, and yes. I just wanted to say, actually, in our pricing, for a first clean, we actually do put an extra percentage on for mm -hmm. the first clean because of that reason. Yep. Because it takes you almost double the time kind of. to get get it especially if they haven't been cleaned the windows in years and years and years and you're mm. scrubbing all the stuff so yeah. yeah how much is it Tw well it depends well? sometimes it depends. yeah it's yeah um it depends on I'll, how dirty it really looks yeah yeah i'll assess yeah. it because um, if it's been regularly cleaned by another window cleaner then we don't really need to add a yeah send john if it's already been maintained but if, if it, it looks like i'm gonna have to it's gonna take us a lot longer restore the framework or remove hard scrape water stains and... scrape paint use bronze wool to do anything like that then i'll normally go somewhere either between 50 percent more or even double the price so if it was a 30 pound job and it was going to be a monthly thing maybe the first clean i might have to charge somewhere near 50 or 60 pound to get it up to scratch and then go back down to 30 pound after that so yeah. it depends how bad it is yeah. you know that's and why then, it get yeah. nose to glass have a look at the, the windows and, and if you, you know can. what sometimes we find that that's actually quite good for the customer like that as well mm. in a way because they you give them the higher price first and then you say after that your monthly maintenance claim is down to this price and they're like Indeed. oh a discount yeah so, so actually it's it's quite good for that reason as well as that it, yeah, it the makes game, it feel like they're giving them something and it's confirming what i said tell the customer for hard water it's like yeah. restoration work yeah, totally different thing it, to a maintenance yeah. clean so um yeah so hope to see you guys again soon have a great evening triad man triad uh, girl it's victor again victor needs a big cuddle <laughs> We would definitely could believe it. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Victor. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe we've been talking for almost an hour. We well, we normally try and keep to around about an hour. We try to. Yeah. yeah. So it goes so fast time. First queen double the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, first queen double. So yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. That's that's the recap done for you guys. So yeah, basically speak to your customers, potential customers. Don't walk around with them if you can. Go around by yourself. Yeah. Get up nice and close to the glass. Assess it. Mm -hmm. If you know what you're going to charge, go for it. If you're not sure, ballpark price. Quotations, see if you can get them to do pictures. Answer them on Facebook, email, through your website, whatever you can. If you don't have to drive to it, fantastic. Mm -hmm. First cleans, charge a heck of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> don't do um, that. <laughs> yeah, and one-off yeah. cleans. Yeah, yeah. one-off cleans as well, obviously charge more. And for pull work, use an accelerator. So, yeah. job's a good one. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's, happy with that? I, I, I'm, I'm happy, happy with that. that. I hope you guys are happy with that. Hope you've enjoyed well, this. Thank you so much for coming, tuning in. Please don't tie me up again. I don't want to go back in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do when you're not watching. Uh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> my bedroom's in the cupboard. That's <laughs> where I live. Harry Potter cupboard under the stairs. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Much appreciated, folks. Yeah. Thank you very much. Try like, and we'll say goodbye to you while I go and turn Indeed, <laughs> indeed. So, thank you very much, folks. You take care, be good, and all you squeegee slingers and water fed pole wiggling wagglers. We'll see you in the next live chat. Okay, take care, be good. Bye for now.